Hi friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. In this tutorial, we'll see what is the difference between delete, truncate and drop commands. So these commands are very much important and generally in whichever interview you attend, the, there is no interview that is going to happen without you know, going through these commands. So 101% you can uh, count on these commands that they will be asked in an interview. If you are going for as a fresher or else as a some two to three years of experience in SQL or PL SQL, you know, developer support project anything, so it's very much mandatory. You need to know the difference between these three. So first of all, I have a table here called uh, test one. Sorry, test underscore one. So you can see it here. So what is the delete command? delete command what exactly it does is whenever you give delete and with a table along with a where clause then it will delete only those certain rows based on the condition that is you're going, that you're going to specify along with the where condition if you are not going to use your where condition and if you simply give the delete what is going to happen is the entire rows are going to be deleted so how that is going to happen is when you say delete from test underscore one where I'm going to say employee number equal to some 7369 you can see 7369 is here when I say you can see one row got deleted now the 7369 is not there so in order to you know uh, you can the all the things that you delete can be uh, finalized only when you give this commit command or else roll back. You can roll back uh, to whatever things you have deleted. You can do that also and as well you can commit it by deleting it permanently. So if I give roll back you can see roll back completed. If I go you can see the 7369 again came back. So whenever you are using your delete command you can roll it back. That's not a problem. So make sure whenever you're giving the commit command, make sure that you sure you're sure about the rows that you've already deleted and you want it to be deleted permanently. So that is what is about the delete. And as well, whenever you're using the delete command, uh, the triggers that are associated with these delete will also be triggered. So that is another thing with the delete command. Okay, so hope you guys know about triggers. So based on that, you can answer. So first thing that you need to remember is whenever you're using your delete command, uh, it removes the rows based on the condition that you give, weight loss. If in case, uh, if I simply give delete from, sorry, test underscore one. If I simply give uh, without any where condition, what happens is you can see here, all the rows you know got deleted so now if I try to select from the test one there's no row so again I can roll back so now if I try you can see all the uh, rows came back so make sure uh, that whenever you're using your delete command make sure that you're giving a proper condition if you're not giving condition then be very uh, much you know mm, uh, focus that you are going to uh, you are trying to delete the entire uh, rows that are available in the table okay so be careful while handling while using this uh, delete command so this is what is about the delete command so coming to the truncate so what exactly the truncate does is truncate simply removes the uh, rows all the rows from the table so how you can use the truncate is just say first of all let me see whether this is still there yeah you can see test one is there so I'm going to say truncate um, table test underscore one you can see table truncated so now when I try to select the table test underscore one there's no row selected now if I try to roll back roll back completed but hey, you can see again no rows selected so from this we can understand that if you're using your truncate 
it is one for all it's done if you use it once it's done you cannot roll back it is like a commit itself forever the rows are going to be truncated so there's no ways that you can get the rows back just the way how you used your delete command so that is the difference between the truncate and delete hope you guys are understanding all these things so uh, and the truncate is more faster than delete as you can see it's because it's deleting all the rows at once it's not like uh, uh, deleting whenever you're saying deleting you'll be giving the condition so based on the condition it goes to each and every condition but it sees whether whether the condition is satisfied or not if it satisfies then it removes the row if it is not satisfied it will retain that uh, row so it's not like the truncate simply you know blindly deletes all the rows as you can see here so that's why the truncate is more faster than the delete so that is what is about the truncate and remember that rollback doesn't work in truncate okay so next thing is about drop what is drop so my table is gone here so i'll make use of another new table called test underscore two where i again have the same employee table drop is nothing but it's a command that removes the table from the database completely so that you know all the table whatever associated things like um, indexes privileges rows everything will get deleted from the table so how you can make use of uh, drop command is drop table and give the table name test underscore two you can see table dropped now if you try to access the table too you can see table or view does not exist so what happened in truncate it removed all the rows but still the structure of the table was there whereas when you use drop it is removing the entire table with the schema with the uh, structure of the table sorry the structure of the data and the structure of the table has been removed so that's why whenever you're trying to access the table that's been dropped it is showing table or view does not exist so this is what is about the delete truncate and drop and make sure that you remember whenever you're using delete the triggers associated with the uh, delete uh, will be fired if if it is there whenever you're using truncate there is um, no triggers that will be fired and all okay I and mean, even for drop also there's no the dml triggers that will be fired so that's what is the difference hope you guys understood uh, so if there are any queries then please do mail me i've been getting many mails since a long time and i'm unable to reply to a few mails i'm really sorry for that whenever i find time surely i'll get back to you um, and as well keep mailing me and keep supporting me uh, and keep liking my videos and keep sharing my videos to your friends and family uh, and as well whoever is attending the interviews all the very best if there anything that you want you know want to uh, get clarified or you want me to upload a video based on some interview question then let me know i'll do the same and thank you very much for watching